द प्रेस ऑफ रनिंग में आपका एक बार फिर से स्वागत है अभी जो हम सीरीज लेके आए हैं गाइड इससे हम जाओ इंटरव्यू की मोक क्वेश्चन का प्रिपरेशन करवाते हैं जिसमें हम जावा वेब डेवलपमेंट मल डेवलपन एज फॉर एग्जाम्पल रिएक्ट का जावा का हो गया पैथन का हुआ और जितने भी टेक्निकल लैंग्वेजेज होते हैं सारे की हम लोग क्या करते हैं मोक इंटरव्यू लेते हैं ओके okay, तो आपको क्या करना है गाइज अगर आपको भी मोक इंटरव्यू लेना है तो आपको क्या करना है हमारा वीडियो का डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स में जो है उसमें एक लिंक प्रोवाइड करेंगे हमारा व्हाट्सएप ग्रुप में आपको एड होना है देन एड होने के बाद गाइज आपको आपको मैसेज करना है कि आई एम इंटरेस्टेड देन आपकी मोक का इंटरव्यू रखा जाएगा ओके okay, तो अगर आपको भी इंटरेस्टेड हो तो होता तो ये मेरा मेनोरी जो ये मोक इंटरव्यू का हमने सीरीज जो रखे इसमें आपको गाइज क्या करना है सामने वाले जो आंसर देता है सपोज हमने जो क्वेश्चन पूछे हैं गाइज आपको क्या करना है सबसे पहले क्वेश्चन को सुनना है क्वेश्चन को सुनने के बाद आपको गाइज क्या करना है अगर आपको पहले से वो वाला क्वेश्चन आना है तो वीडियो को क्या करना है पुश करना है देन पुश करने के बाद आपको खुद से आंसर देना है देन सामने वाले के भी आंसर को क्या करना है सुनना है जिससे आपका भी इंटरव्यू क्या हो जाएगा गाइज हो जाएगा अगर आपने क्या किया हमने सपोज हमने यहाँ से क्वेश्चन पूछ रहे तो आपको क्या करना है गाइज हमारा वीडियो को पुश करना है पुश करके आपको क्या करना है खुद से आंसर देना है नेक्स्ट वीडियो पे नेक्स्ट टॉपिक पे नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन पे जाना है सेम आपको करना है कि क्वेश्चन को सुनना है देन खुद से आपको क्या करना है आंसर देना जिससे आपका भी इंटरव्यू क्या हो जाएगा गाइज कंप्लीटेड हो जाएगा ओके okay? अगर इन केस आपको जो क्वेश्चन नहीं आते हैं तो सामने वाले के आंसर देखना है अगर उसके बाद भी नहीं आते तो आपको यूट्यूब पे या गूगल क्रोम पे जाके उसके आंसर को सर्च करना है और उसको नोट डाउन करके नेक्स्ट अगेन आपको क्या करना है इंटरव्यू सेम वीडियो आपको क्या करना है या नेक्स्ट वीडियो में जो आप इंटरव्यू का वीडियो देखेंगे उसमें फिर से प्रिपेयर अगर आपने चार पांच अगर ऐसे ही वीडियो आपने पर डे देख लेते हैं तो आपकी इंटरव्यू में किस टाइप की क्वेश्चन पूछी जाते हैं ये आपको आइडिया हो जाएगा जिससे आप अगर रियल इंटरव्यू देते हैं तो वहां पर आपको इश्यू नहीं होता है तो आई होप ये वीडियो आपके लिए हैपफुल होगा तो आपको क्या करना है वीडियो को बस क्वेश्चन सुनना है देन आपको पुश करना है पुश करने के बाद आपको क्या करना है गाइज आपको खुद से उसका क्या करना है प्रिपरेशन करना है ओके okay? इनकेस अगर आपको भी इंटरव्यू देना है तो डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स में हमारा लिंक होगा वहां पे जाके आपको व्हाट्सएप ग्रुप ज्वाइनिंग कीजिए ग्रुप ज्वाइनिंग करने के बाद हमें मैसेज कीजिए आई एम इंटरेस्टेड देन आपका इंटरव्यू होगा ओके okay? तो आई होप ये वीडियो आपके लिए अच्छा होगा और अगर आपको वीडियो अच्छा लगता है तो गाइज सबसे पहले आप सब्सक्राइब कर दीजिए और एक बार लाइक कर दीजिए और कमेंट में लिखिए आई एम इंटरेस्टेड इन हमारे टीम आपसे कनेक्ट करेंगे और आपकी भी मोक इंटरव्यू होगा ओके तो अब बिना रेट्स किए अब हम लोग क्या करते हैं मोक इंटरव्यू की और चाहते हैं थैंक यू सो मच Can you start more better? Uh, yes. No, okay. tell me your SAP introduction first. Uh, hello, sir. My name is Tony Kajlak, and currently I'm living in Goa, Madhya Pradesh. And I have completed my graduation from computer science. And after that, I joined Coding Ninja for full stack development bootcamp training, uh, which is on the Mars Tech. And the technology which I learned there is like the uh, It's completely monstrous, including EXJS, NodeJS, MongoDB, ExpressJS, and uh, Firebase, and uh, HTML, CSS, and uh, JavaScript. I mostly work on JavaScript, and uh, also cover computer fundamentals like uh, operating system and database management system. And uh, after that, I joined the uh, internship for two months as a web developer in a Pune-based company. Which is the Code Cloud. Uh, there also I work upon few projects. Uh, it is three or five personal projects which I done individually, and one is a one is a project which uh, one project which is a team effort, which is done by uh, multiple people out there in the intensive program. And uh, currently I'm working as a Uh, teaching assistant in coding in just for the ReactJS profile, where I am solving the doubts of uh, students who who have related to assignment or uh, if have any personal project doubt, 
and try to solve and debug their case. And right now, I'm looking forward to uh, join a company with a full set development role or front end development role as a full time. That's all about my thing. Okay, that is fine. Hello, Bima. Hello. Hello, Biba. May I order? Hello. Okay. Okay. Can you explain your college uh, project? Uh, in college, like I passed out in 2019. Uh, and after in the college, I learned basic fundamentals of computer science. Uh, and not work upon mm -hmm. any project. So uh, after joining this bootcamp course from Coding Inter, I work upon few projects uh, using the technology which is Venda JavaScript or uh, React.js or Node.js. And for backend, I'm using Firebase currently. Okay. And uh, your project name in college? Pardon, sir, can you repeat? Yeah, yeah, your project name in a college. Which project you are working in college? Hello? Yes, yes, sir. So the project I done hmm? during this uh, in, uh, intensive program and learning in the learning of full stack development program. No, no, your project name. You have submitted one project in your college, no? Uh, no, there is no project I submitted. You have not uh, submitted a project in college? No, sir. Okay. Okay, first you move in, uh, okay, and HTML, CSS, okay. Okay. Okay, wh what is this in HTML? What is REST in HTML? REST, yeah. REST, R-E-S-T. REST. Yeah, yeah. Uh, sorry, sir, not so bad to recall that one. Order REST, you have defined REST, you have, okay. Order REST, define REST, and unorder REST. There are three type of REST, okay. What is basic structure of HTML document? So basic structure including a header file, body, and uh, mm. and different different elements we can add like section and uh, for bottom we use uh, footer. Okay. What is anchor tag? Anchor tag is like a, uh, defining a tag and we can wrap something in it so it's redirect it to the that particular uh, reference or the source we are providing okay. what is img tag img is a image tag which is a self enclosing tag we can uh, provide image source over there okay can you ex uh, can you explain the image uh, tag so image tag is like a, a block block to scope uh, block tag uh, and in the image tag we are uh, including source file of the particular image path and it's rendered that particular image okay Okay, uh, what is the plan between uh, div and span tag? Uh, div. So div tag yeah. is a block block level tag. If uh, we define div again and again, so it's uh, declaring in a block. And span is like a inline tag. And mostly we can include span tag uh, in between another tags. But uh, in comparison of div, so we are using div as a separate tag. 
Okay. Can you explain the future of uh, HTML5? HTML5 is uh, HTML5 is uh, feature like forms so we uh, we can create the dynamic forms using html5 okay what is a local storage so in the browser there is a local storage of like a very less uh, size so it's including the uh, cookies data of particular user who are uh, browsing the particular thing. So it's just storing that particular data over there. Okay. Okay, what is the fraud property? Uh, can you repeat, sir? Fraud property, the F-L-O-A-T fraud uh, property. Float F L O A T. Float, your yeah, float property. Yeah, float. So float is a, a variable type. Uh, we can declare variable uh, different differently. Like there is an integer, there is a float, and there is a double. So in okay. integer, we can store number, but uh, with a limited size, but uh, in float we are uh, storing it with a larger number. Okay, can you explain media query in uh, CSS? So, uh, to make our website responsive, we can implement media query, uh, where we are defining the particular size uh, for our application. If the size is increased or uh, if size is greater than or uh, less than in the particular defined defined uh, uh, pixel, so it will be automatically adjust the particular uh, designs in the media query. Okay, how to create a responsive design? To create responsive design, uh, first we need to make sure for uh, like desktop or for a mobile for which platform we are developing the particular application and if you're developing for uh, all of the device we need to make sure it's responsive and with the help of media query we can write media query for different different screen size and uh, make it responsive okay Okay, can you explain the event loop in JavaScript? So, event event loop is like uh, uh, there are various uh, events happening in the JavaScript, like uh, mouse over, on click, uh, on enter, and uh, over properties. So, this all of these events are uh, have different different functionality. Uh, we can edit in over a particular element using uh, HTML also. So, so like uh, on mouse over, if we can hovering a mouse, uh, it can uh, perform that particular event. And uh, if there is a one button and uh, we can perform on click event on that. And uh, on clicking of that particular button, we can perform any function in the JavaScript. Okay. Can you Okay, can you explain the prototype uh, proto inheritance? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, uh, inheriting property from like uh, one class to another using extend keyword, we can inherit the property. But uh, I'm not very much sure about the prototype even. Okay, class based, uh, you know, class based in editing? Sir, wait a second. Let me write uh, for the question which I don't know. Is it okay? Okay. Okay.
what is apply method? Uh, yes, sir. Let me repeat. Yeah, what is apply method? Apply method. Sorry, not able to recall this. Okay. Tell me about the future of JavaScript. So, after after like uh, year six, uh, there is a very much, a lot of feature involved in JavaScript. After year six, uh, later later on, there is one variable we can declare using only like keyword oh sorry where keyword but currently there is one uh, to an, another more keyword uh, we can declare a variable using integer oh not integer it's a variable let and const and uh, javascript is like a, a scripting language used for uh, a very various purposes and have a vast user base and uh, uh, different different libraries for both front-end and back-end part. Okay, what is the event capturing? Uh, sorry, I'm not able to recall this one. Okay, event capturing is just approach to event uh, bubbling the event uh, Bubbling, okay, and uh, the aggression from the uh, aggression from the outmost element of the intermost element in the case, okay. And so you like have to are, add event rational. Yeah, yeah. We are uh, capturing it using the uh, inbuilt method yeah. like uh, yes, yes. event default yes, method. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. okay, can you explain the promise in a JavaScript? So JavaScript have a concept of promises. Whenever uh, we are fetching a data from some other API or third party uh, data source, so if data is correct or not correct, uh, it's taking the three form. Either it's a fulfilled reject or it's pending. So if it is fulfilled, there is a lot of uh, promises available there, like the dot then dot uh, okay dot any and uh, if it's uh, fulfilled and uh, if uh, rejected and the uh, one is pending can you can you can you can you can you can you explain the carrying in the javascript so like uh, uh carrying in javascript is a concept of uh, uh, using an nested function like if there are uh, a lot of uh, if there is a one function taking a lot of arguments so enclosing it with in the nested functions with uh, one particular argument is called current okay how to step uh, how to sorry how to stop event uh, propagation in a javascript so event propagation we are there is one predefined method so we can use that method like uh, event dot prevent default so it's not move towards this parent by using this method okay can you explain the deboxing in javascript the div box or yeah, D boxing. Yeah, D boxing. So, uh, the box property of JavaScript, including uh, various uh, things in it, like uh, margin, padding, and uh, uh, border radius, and all. Okay. Okay, what is React uh, JS? Uh, React JS is a uh, JavaScript library for you develop, developing the uh, front end interfaces. Okay. 
Can you explain? Can you do explain the purpose and state in reactive? So, uh, with this update of uh, functional based com uh, component, uh, there is one or more update which is props. So props is like passing data from one component to another. So it's like passing data from uh, parent component to to the child component and uh, while talking about the state the state is a, a particular state of a particular component we cannot pass uh, the component so from the component a particular state but uh, we can change any value from the state but uh, while compared to the props we cannot change the value Explain you 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 explain the reason of a 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 and uh, react okay so uh, using jsx we can we can embedded uh, html in the particular javascript file for creating a list so uh, using the list the keyword uh, for an order list or order list we can create list in the javascript also Okay, can you explain the render method in the React? So, render method is uh, uh, returning a HTML file. Uh, all of the things uh, or uh, all the structure which uh, we have in a particular component. So, we can render it using the render method and it's returning the HTML file. Okay, can you explain the functional component and the class component? Okay, so functional component is uh, definitely introduced in JavaScript. Uh, later on, we are working on class based component. So, class based component, we have a state list component, uh, we call them, and uh, they have various uh, pre built methods def defined in class class based component so uh, the methods which are including like a constructor uh, which is declaring the variable initially and a component did bound component did update uh, component did unmount uh, render method this all methods uh, which we are using class based component but in functional based component uh, currently we are introduced with the hooks concept so we are using hooks to perform the side effects for uh, uh, maintaining our components. There is various various of hooks present there, like the use effect, use state, use uh, call bit, and many more. Okay, can you uh, explain the live circle method of the component? Yeah. So, uh, correct. Firstly, it's uh, uh, starting, then it's uh, mounting, then unmounting, and then it's uh, moved towards the death. Okay. Okay, so uh, use ref hook we are using to rattering towards a particular element or uh, whenever uh, we are in, uh, storing that particular uh, user of value in a particular variable and if there is any side effect or uh, uh, a particular function is falling so we are using that particular user of uh, uh, variable and implement the user of uh, user of hook so it's like a, uh, Assigning a focus and hover on for this thing we are using. Okay. 
Hello? 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 Who? Hello? 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 Who? Hello? Hello? Four in four in four in four twenty? Yes, sir. Okay. Can you remove? 420 are in it. Yes. Okay, write a HTML code to create table with uh, five uh, column and uh, three row. Uh, yes. Okay. So I need to make a table. Yeah, and uh, five row and uh, three column. Uh, see, sir, it's in like wait, wait, just second. I wait. You have five row and uh, five column. My question is five row, three column.
ओके Okay, so uh, so you are sending over text or? Yeah, this is a good. Uh, you have to take a note. Is a good and coding also good. Okay, you have to message me six o'clock and uh, give me feedback everything. Okay. Okay. 